हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास वीडियो दिस इज द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर वन द फेस टेल ऑफ क्लास फाइव सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट टू द ऑल व्यूअर्स टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड आई एम जय प्रकाश लेट स्टार्ट द क्लास एट फर्स्ट लेट्स हैव एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ टूडेज क्लास टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज विच बोट गेट्स हाउ मच इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल सॉल्व सम वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन स्पीड डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम बिफोर दैट इन द थर्ड पार्ट वी स्टडीड अबाउट द वॉट अ कैच एंड सॉल्व सम वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम एंड नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी हियर आर सम मोटर बोट्स ट्रॉलर मीन्स बिग मशीन बोट and a long tail boat do you know it's another name yes this type of boats are known as vallam and the spelling is v a l l a m actually this type of boats are used in vallam boat racing competition yes and now you will tell me in which state of the india it is organized write your answer in the comment box i will definitely check it out and now let's have a reading of this sentences but the fishermen are now very worried why they are worried why they are sad let's know there are some very big machine boats like trawler in this business they go far out and put their big nets deep in the sea oh this way they collect a whole lot of fish living very few near the sea shore they also stay out on the sea for many days oh it means now fish catching is a fish business and some people are using machine boats to catch the fish and they are catching the fish in a big quantity and for that they are going very far in the sea this big machine boats also catch the small baby fish which have yet to grow up means with the big fish they are also catching the small baby fish for their business fishermen in the smaller boats always let the baby pass through their nets to go back into the sea and the sailors i mean the fishermen when they uh, catch fish so they just leave the small fishes they don't catch the small fish they choose a net size in such a way that only the grown up fish are caught in the nets very nice means they never catch the small baby fish who the fishermen yes and for that they are using a special size net okay to leave the small fish and now in the next page for hundreds of years fishermen have cared for the sea and its fishes and fished only a little to eat and sell wow such a caring persons these fishermen are <laughs> means from the hundreds of years they are just caring the sea and the fishes it means they are just worshiping the sea we can say they say that if trawlers catch thousands of kilograms of fish every day they will be nev there will be no fish left in the sea yes it's true the trawlers are using uh, uh, the trawlers are catching the fish in a big quantities for their business purpose and if in this way they will catch the fish more and more and many days so what will happen yes the fish there will be no fish in the sea and that is such a big problem for everyone but the fishermen they don't do this all they just catch uh, only in a few quantity of fishes 
for their daily life to eat and sell now here is a task write a news report about the dangers faced by the fishes in our rivers and sea you will check it yourself and now the main topic which boat gets how much let's have read in one trip the log boat brings 20 kg of fish remember this okay this is the quantity of fish 20 kg by one trip in a log boat but other types of boats bring a bigger catch as given in the table the table also shows the speed and type of boats which is how far each boat goes in one hour look at the table and calculate here are a b c means three word problems but before solving this word problems let's have a read of the table many times i have told you before solving the questions of some tables you should have a proper read proper observation of the table okay because you cannot first you should understand this table that what things is given in the table okay then you should go to the word problems it is very important remember that in the class i have told many times this thing now the column 1 type of boat so we have log boat long tail boat motor boat and machine boat means four boats we have now here is catch of fish in one trip in kilogram okay so log boat uh, is catching fish in one trip only 20 kg long tail boat 600 kg now motor boat 800 kg and machine boat is catching of catching the fishes in one trip that is 6000 kg and here is given speed of the boat how far it goes in one hour oh speed is given this is the very important thing remember that before starting the class i just tell thing uh, something about it that speed that today we will study about speed distance and time so speed is given here okay so here are different type of boats and this is their speed in one hour so log boat the speed of log boat in one hour is 4 km and long tail boat speed is 12 km per hour the next is motor boat speed is 20 km per hour and the last one is machine boat and its speed is 20 km per hour now we have understand the table now come to the word problem about how much fish the question is about how much fish in all will each type of boat bring in seven trip each type of boat remember this word okay is bringing how many uh, fishes in seven trips so for this what will we do we need to make a proper solution by making a table and for making the table uh, first we will take in the first column types of boat in second column we will take catch of fish in one trip okay and this in this column we will write some other things we will write a uh, catch of fish in seven trips okay catch of fish in seven trip in this third column remember this now now this is catch of fish in seven trip remember this so let's find the quantity of the fish in seven trips by the first first is log boat so in one trip here is 20 okay so in seven trip yes how can we solve first we will use the unitary method to solve this questions okay so just we have the value of one one trip and we are finding the value for seven trips so this is just a multiplication 20 multiply by 7 yes we will get yes big numbers with zero it means multiply the uh, real numbers uh, 7 into 7 to 14 and bring one zero so 140 kg okay now next 
long tail boat in one trip 6000 kg so in seven trips yes just multiply here so it will be 7 6 ja 42 and how many zeros are here two zeros are here so just put two zeros so in seven trips long tail boat is uh, catching 4200 kilograms fishes okay now come to the third point here is a motor boat and the quantity of catching a fish in one trip is 800 kilogram so in seven in seven trips yes once again multiply this 800 with seven so here is a 800 multiplied by 7 means big number is 0 so just a simple multiplication multiply 7 with 8 7 8 ja yes it is 56 and how many zeros are here two zeros so just put two zeros here so we got 5600 kilogram clear now the last is machine boat uh, catching of fish in one trip is 6000 yes so in seven trip multiply by 7 so 6000 multiply by 7 big number is 0 so once again uh, multiply 6 with 7 you will get uh, 42 then how many zeros are here 3 zeros so put 3 zeros here 1 2 3 so you got 42,000 kilogram okay I think now you have understand how to solve this all what problems now let's have a look of the solution yes on the screen here I have a perfect solution for question number A here you can see First column is for type of boat. The second one is catch of fish in one trip in kilogram. And the last column is very important because it is our solution column. Catch of fish in seven trips in kilograms. And you can see how have we solved this. Okay, very good. Now come to the question number B. The question number B is about how far can a motorboat go in 6 hours? So my dear students, before solving uh, question number B and C, we have to understand the relationship between speed, distance and time. Okay. As you all know, it's simple meaning speed, distance and time. Now I will show you the relationship through the formula. And you have to learn this formula. And the formula is here. First is speed is equal to distance upon time now second is time is equal to distance upon speed and the third one is distance is equal to speed multiplied by time okay so these are the three basic and very important formula which we will use to solve these two questions okay now come to question number b once again, I repeat these questions about how far can a motorboat go in six hours? Okay, so what we have to find here? Yes, we have to find the distance. How far means distance. Okay, and in how many hours? In six hours. So, first thing what we have to find here in the table, you have a mo motorboat and its speed is given here in one hour and that is 20 km per hour clear so yes just use the unitary method and uh, you have the values all means in one hour the motorboat is traveling 20 km so in six hours yes six multiply by 20 so it will be 120 kilometers Let's have a look of this solution. Yes, here is solution B, method 1. Method 1 because there are two methods. In the two methods, I have solved these questions. Yes, in the class, I have many times told to you that in mathematics subjects, there is not only one solution of a question. There are more than one. Yes, there are many solutions. In many different ways, we can solve. So, let's check the first method as I have told you that uh, here is given yes first thing we have to write given a motorboat can go in one hour that is 20 kilometer so that it can go in six hours 20 multiplied by six so total 120 kilometers 
hence and at last you should write hence a motorboat can go 120 kilometers in 6 hours clear now come to method 2 and for this we have to know the formula of speed distance and time here first thing we have to write that is given and the speed was given 20 km per hour yes this symbol is used uh, means uh, defining as per okay 20 km and this is per hour now the second is time that is also given in the question 6 hours and last is distance and that we have to find now you will write distance is equal to speed multiplied by time yes this is this thing we have taken from the formula and now speed was given 20 km we have written 20 and time was given 6 hours so we have written this so 20 multiplied by 6 we got 100 120 hours and at last you should write hence that uh, motorboat can go 120 km in 6 hours clear so in two methods in two way we have solved the question number b you can see on your screen yes now come to question number c if a long tail boat has to travel 60 km okay 60 km how long will it go how long will it go it means what thing we have to find is speed distance a time yes we have to find the time so let's check the question and what more thing is given in the question here is 60 kilometer so it will be what yes yes the distance is given so we have to find what the time okay now let's have a look of this solution yes here is given once again I have written method 1 because in two methods we will solve this you can take any one method you can write any one method in your notebook first given time taken by a long tail boat to travel 12 kilometer is one hour this thing we have taken from the uh, table which was given by the book and now so it will take time to travel 60 kilometer so we will just divide it 60 divided by 12 so we got 5 hours now you can write hence a long tail boat travel 60 kilometer in 5 hours clear yes it was unitary method u n i t a r y unitary method remember it in class we have discussed about many times now come to method 2 as i told you that here we have to find time okay and the distance was given 60 km and speed was also 12 km per hour this is given in the table you can check it now write the formula time is equal to distance upon speed now put the values of this distance and speed 60 upon 12 so now divide 60 by uh, 12 so 12 1 ja and 12 5 ja 60 so you got 5 so 5 hours is the answer we got the time and at last you should write hence the long tail boat will take 5 hours to travel 60 km and this is the answer ok now we have solved question number A, B, C which was based on yes speed, distance and time so practice yourself my dear student so that's all for today's class see you in the next video till then stay at home and be healthy don't forget to like and subscribe my channel also Bye-bye.